kindly took me up on my invitation to join me in the studio. Please take a seat. Hello, my name is Clive from Clive's Art and thank you very much for joining me on the channel today. Right, this is the first one of the series which is going to run right the way through until Christmas Eve when we will actually complete the painting that we're going to work on together. Now, if that's the type of thing you want to do, then stay with me. Now, it's going to be a Christmas painting, so there's going to be snow. So that's, that's tick box one, snow. There's going to be trees. So tick box two is trees. There's going to be some buildings and some background. And, well, I leave the imagination run wild. Now, first thing I've got to do is take you through very quickly um, a couple of stages on, if you've never painted trees before, I need you to practice. Um, on some um, scrap canvas or paper or whatever you got the hand, you know, it doesn't have to be um, an old car, you can be an old canvas, you can be a bit of masonette, it can be some acrylic paper, anything like that. You need to practice a few techniques first. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to paint a tree. Now, I'm going to break it down into its elements, and then when we paint the tree, you'll understand it a little bit more. So, without further ado, let's get back, to the, let's get to the back. I haven't even got there yet. <laughs> Let's get to the canvas and we'll have a look at the elements of a tree. Okay, so the first tree I want to do in this particular painting is mainly just the trunk. Now, the what they call the top of the tree, you know, where all the leaves are, that's called the canopy. So, I because this, um, I'm going to be using a canvas roughly about this size. So, because this particular tree is going to be around about that area there on, on the canvas you're not going to see the canopy so we need to practice trunks and trunks is always a good thing to, to get you to get the grips with so um, I'll just go through the brushes as I'm picking them up rather than tell you and um, I'll also explain what colours I'm using as well rather than go through the whole lot now but when I actually come to do the painting I will give you a full set of brushes and the full set of colours that I'm going to be using on the painting. But this part is just a tutorial section. So let's just have a look at how we can paint some trunks. Okay, so let's, let's put some light on. There we go. Um, if you do buy cheap canvases, make sure they got little wooden things called keys in them. Um, because I bought this cheap canvas and it didn't have them and the canvas wasn't very taut, so um, that is an important thing. Okay, so I've got a small, um, where did I put it, there we are, this is a number 8 flat, okay, well whatever you've got the hand, it doesn't have to be a number 8, anything around about that size, around about that size you need. And I'm going straight into some um, Van Dyke Brown. And I'm just dipping my brush into the water, as you've seen me do many times before. And this main tree um, is going to be picking up the biggest part of this section of the canvas here anyway. So we, all you need to do is just put a trunk in like that. Maybe a bit thicker. Because that's the top of the tree up there, and this is the, the main trunk, so we'll make the trunk a bit longer there. And that's all I do is just paint it in like that. Let's put just a little bit of a base on it, there we are. Now don't forget, when you're painting trees, they're, they, they're, they're not all straight. You know, you've got, to, you've got to remember this, you know, there's little knobs, coming, little nobbles coming out of them, and the branches are broken off and all rough, the loose bark is rather loose here and there and you know we gotta we gotta put all that in to the painting if we can. Now obviously the furthest uh, further the way the trees are the less detail there is, but if this is is gonna be in year somewhere, we need to put a little bit more detail into it than I'll do for now. Now you can notice as I'm painting this, I'm leaving lines and darker areas, and so this is all to help you with the next stage. 
And this is what I call negative spaces when we do the canopy and, and stuff like that on trees as well and it, it works well on anything really. You've always got the dark areas, you need to get your dark areas in place first. So you spend a little bit of time um, painting along like this. And, it, and if it's in the foreground then obviously you need to put a bit more detail on. Now we'll say the light is coming from that direction. So, And it's going to be a window. We'll just we'll take that straight up there. Yeah, make it easier. I'm going to put a branch in there like that. Just to, so we can play with the tree. Um, it's going to be a winter scene, so I, I envision that maybe the, the wind has been blowing and all there's all s snow gathering on the side of the tree, so we'll show you how to do that in just a second. But it's good to break uh, the trees down into this way, so you can, when before you commit yourself to the painting, then you know what you're doing. And if you haven't done the landscape or trees before, then it's as important to practice some of your elements instead of jumping in straight away and it's going to give you more practice for other paintings. So I'm using a number three detail brush now and um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking in and putting some branches in. So we'll start there, there and we'll go up and you notice as, I, as I'm going up I'm, I'm twisting the brush fluidity to this painting in the stage so that'll go up there and I'll go off and then if you have another branch go in there maybe another branch so just put your, your thick branches in first because you can put the other branches in uh, with your script liner or half rigger brush later on so it's important that you practice doing branches as well. Now if you notice what I did by there then, I pulled a branch from there out there. Now because I've left that mark there it looks as if it's on the front of the tree and all I gotta do to push that to the back of the tree is take that brush mark away. Now it looks as if it's coming from the back of the tree and if you wanted to come from the side of the tree you just round that edge off a little bit there and now it looks as if it's coming from the side of the tree. I'm not going to worry too much about branches, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. Okay, so I've zoomed in now, and as you can see, you can see the ridges where the paint is on slightly darker in some places than others. And I'm just going to go in now, dipping my brush in the water, and I'm going to some a bit of raw sienna, a touch of burnt umber. and some hooker's green because there's always little bits of moss and one thing and another and then I'm going just under the branch and just going down the side of the tree like that not covering up all the dark areas I'm just putting that colour where I think it'll work. Now I'm getting a little bit of Van Dyke Brown and a little touch, just a little touch of um, Diaz Purple and that's going to darken that colour up and then I'm going to go right down that edge of that tree and I've only let the first coat dry so I'm just doing this wet on wet I'm going underneath that branch like that I'm going underneath that branch As I said this is only a practice so it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect Just going back into my palette, I just mixed up the same mix again now, 
and I'm just dropping a couple of little lines through. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go into a touch of titanium white. I'm going to mix a little bit of Van Dyke brown with that. So I've got a very pale browny type of grey colour. So you can see it, it's, it's that colour look. See? Now, the reason I'm doing that is now I'm going to go in, I'm going down the side of the tree there like that. And just drag in the brush on the top of the branch there, drag in the brush down, and then back into that colour, across the top there, a bit in there. And this is the base coat of the snow, so you know, you just use your imagination where you think this is going to. snow isn't white, it picks up. What it lies on, so obviously you need to put that in. <coughs> Actual fact, let's put a little bit there, look. There you go. You can play with this anyway. So. Okay, so I'm going to go into um, the burnt, burnt sienna now. I'm going to touch a little, touch a light of white to that. So I've got a very um, like orangey type of colour, orangey brown. And I'm just going to down the very edge of the tree like that. A little bit more time than I have, so you know you, you need to paint this a few times so you can get your head around the tree. Now, I'm not washing my brush, I'm going straight into that Van Dyke Brown and Diaz Purple mix again, and I'm just re emphasizing a couple of shadow areas on this tree. It's going to be a little bit darker under there. And you need to study a little bit all these different types of shapes and that, you know, because it's important that we get that representation right. I'm washing my brush well. Let's get in another piece of kitchen now. Now, I'm drying my brush, making sure it's 100% dry. I'm going in to my white and I've picked some up on the end. There we go, let's focus in. I picked up some up on the end and that, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drag that. I'm not going to paint it as such. I'm just going to very lightly touch and I'm going to drag that down and position it. Yeah, I'm going a bit more white. You can do this with a palette knife if you wanted to. But this gives a lovely texture. It takes a bit of practice. There you go. And just have fun. That's all it's about, having fun painting. So 
Now we're going to use this principle now um, right throughout the painting because it is snow that we, we paint in here so when we actually paint snow this is exactly how we're going to do it. So not only are you learning to paint a tree you're learning how to put snow on the ground and the thing with snow is it's not to be too fussy with it because it's loose, it's fluffy, you know, it sticks to anything, it all depends which way that wind is blowing. A little bit of dry brush now, down there. And if you wanted to, you could put a nice big pile of snow that's gathered up at the bottom of the tree like that. And then Tip, very tip of my brush in just to put a little bit of colour there and there. A very simple, a very simple tree trunk in snow. And the next thing I'm going to be looking at is the actual foliage itself, so off the branches. So we're going to practice doing some branches. And then we're going to practice doing some um, leaves and different things because some trees have, believe it or not, they don't all drop their leaves in the winter. Some trees have got leaves in, in the winter. So yeah, you've got evergreens and all that type of stuff. We need to think about that when we're actually painting our scene. So there we are. If you practice doing that a few times, you know, a couple of different trunks, different sizes, different distances, you know, you could actually paint yourself a little forest scene if you wanted to. And just keep practicing that and filling all the gaps in with snow and you'd be surprised before you know it you've got a painting yes this is easy isn't it yeah negative space medium tones highlights you keep i keep saying this over and over and over and over and this works for every single thing so yeah you need to have a go at that and um, the next lesson which will be um in a couple of days time is going to be branches leaves and uh, snow on the leaves and we'll, we'll cover that and then it'll give me a chance to design the painting and then we'll put these elements in I think I got some fence posts and that so I'll show you how to do a few fence posts individual get used to painting them um, we'll worry about the buildings later on because they're going to be in a distance so there's not going to be too much detail there um, so we, we need to look at that as well um, but there we are so thank you very much for watching, Clive from Clive's Art. Please have a go at this. Um, practice it as many times as you want. And hopefully by the end of December, well Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Eve, maybe the 23rd, we'll have the completed painting ready. So but in between, we're going to be doing all these lessons and we're going to be painting along. So I hope you enjoy painting along with me. I'm Clive from Clive's Art and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did making it and painting it, I must add. And, um, well, thank you very much for watching. Check me out on Facebook. You can join me on Twitter. Don't forget to check those playlists out. And I invite you to press the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Clive from Clive's Art and I will see you on the next episode.